Hi teachers, I wanna share with you a new way to bring computer science to your classroom. So with code.org, you can actually create a lot of really interactive lessons and there's an integration in Schoology. So I'm going to open one of my sample classes that I have. And in my sample course, um, if you're a classroom teacher, you would click on the, whichever class you wanted to use code.org with. So here's my course, and I do have members in it. You have to be the admin in your course in order to do this. And you'll notice underneath the profile picture is code.org. If it's your very first time, it will ask you when you continue to code.org, it might ask you to create an account or log in with an existing account. That really just depends on if you've used code.org before. So um, I have an existing account that I used Google SSO to sign in with. So I went ahead and followed those steps. But if you've never used code.org, you can create a new account with your work email address um, or if you already have an account you can continue and sign in so depending on if you've used code.org will depend on what that screen looks like but it does open in a new tab and because it's linked with Schoology this pop-up comes up and it mentions my students and my sections have been synced for that course my course is um, the second grade course the section name is here and it shows that there are 10 students that are members in that Schoology course that have already been rostered into code.org now. So I can click on continue and my students are now um, already in code.org. They're rostered. They will log in through Schoology. So by clicking on that code.org integration and um, you can click on the nine students to see who they are. So here are my nine students in my course. These are just teachers who um, work with me but if you had students it would be students that were in your course and then I can start assigning things so to find a course um, there are many different pre-made coding curriculum courses that exist you can filter by grade you can filter by how long you want to spend on it so whether it is like a week-long lesson or just a one-time thing you could also have this be a project that you work on all quarter or all semester. This would also work if you have a coding club to assign in Schoology. So if you created a coding club in Schoology, you can manually add those students and then assign their curriculum this way as well. Um, you'll notice there are higher level, high school level courses now too. So if you have students who are ready for doing some more advanced co um, computer coding and computer science activities that exists here as well. You can quick view the lessons as well as assign them. And I also want to point out that you can um, click here to, to choose which curriculum you want to focus on or even the topic. So there are a lot of different cross-curricular extensions that go with um, all of this code.org content. So once I do find what I want to assign, the fundamentals courses are great because they're um, building blocks for um, developing those higher level thinking skills. When I find the one that I want to assign, I'm going to click on assign. And then any of my sections that I've already used show up here. So I have actually linked some of my other classes as well. So I can choose which sections to assign to and then confirm that now all of those students are going to have that in their dashboard when they are logging in to code.org. As a teacher, you can always look at the progress of your students. So when you click on a section, um, it actually does give you like a grade book and it'll show you how far students have gone, how many lessons they've completed, etc. So this is a very um, powerful tool there's a lot in here it's very self-paced for students but as the teacher you also have a lot of tools that help you manage students and their progress throughout their coding um, there's if you haven't used code.org before there are unplugged activities and then there's also additional resources when you are exploring and learning about these courses that connect so you can look at full lesson plans you can um, rate lessons, you can look at the lesson plan, send the lesson plan to students. You can do some of these things whole group, view it as a teacher or as a student, etc. So definitely use this resource. There 
are a lot of connections to the EdTech standards, the computer science standards, but also cross-curricular standards that relate to STEM or other um, disciplines. So take a look. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'm excited to support you on your coding journey.